Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on software development. In the previous episode, we have successfully created business logic layer for our category module. In this episode, we will create data access layer for our category module, which will contain a method to display all the categories, insert new categories, and update and delete existing categories. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial. First of all, we'll need to open our project. So go to the project folder and open our project solution. That is any store dot solution for me. So double click on solution folder, solution file. It will open on Visual Studio. Then go to solution explorer and just minimize the business logic layer folder. Expand data access layer DAL folder and right click on DAL folder and click on add and new item in this window select class and give the name categories DAL and click on add or press enter to add so this will be our data access layer for our categories so first of all we will need to create a static string method for our database connection so static string method for database connection string so let's create it so static string my connection string is equal so this is a uh, uh, static string method name you can uh, type any name but uh, I will prefer that my connection string and it will be configuration manager dot connection strings and we will type the name of connection string we created on app.config file now if you don't know about this then you need to ch check the video where we created uh, a connection string for our project uh, which is on tutorial second or third so the name is string then dot connection string and semicolon so we have error here just hover over the error and click on show potential fixes and click on using system dot configuration so we have successfully solved our error now uh, we will create first method we will create first method to display all the categories in our data grid view so I'll create a region for that that it has region select method and has in the region and between this region we will write the uh, method and this method will be of uh, data table data type so public data table select and don't worry for the error we will solve it later so just click on using system data so this is it we solve the error but we still have error this will be solved later so now we need to create our connection to the database S connection SQL connection con is equals to new SQL connection and hover over the error and click on show potential fixes and click on using system .data SQL client and enter so we solve this error now we will create a data table since the method is of data table type data type so data table dt is equals to new and data table now we will return uh, data table at last return dt dt is the object name of our data table now between this we will uh, write the code to select uh, all the categories from database and add the value in dt and return the dt so we will start with try block try then 
catch exception ex if we have any exception we will display in catch block so message box dot so ex dot message now hover over the error and click on show potency fix fixes using system dot windows dot form so this will display message if we have any exception errors and last one is finally here we will close the database connection so connection dot close so this is it now we will write the actual code to select all the data from database and uh, add the value in our data table so first is writing sql query to get all the data from database for this we'll create a string variable a string sql is equals to select asterisk from tvl underscore categories then we'll create sql command to execute the query sql command cmd is equals to new sql command now we have to create sql data adapter to get the data from database so sql data adapter adapter is equals to new sql data adapter so we have the value of our database uh, from table categories in data adapter adapter on uh, adapter so we need to uh, pass this value from adapter to our data table so value from ada adapter to data table dt so adapter ada adapter dot fill so dt now the dt contains all the data from our table categories and we have returned it so this is the method to display all the categories from our database now we will create another method to insert a new uh, category in our database so i will just minimize it i'll click on this minus icon in the region so now creating new method for inserting our new category create a region has region insert new category and has end region and in this region we will create a uh, bool method bool type method let's create pub public bool insert and we will use uh, categories bll categories bll c and let's hover over the error and click on show potential fixes so using any store.bll so we fixed one error but we still have one error and insert uh, this is because of bool method uh, we created insert as a bool method so it uh, needs uh, one uh, value to be returned so creating a boolean variable and set its default value to false so bool is is success is equals to false and return it so our error, error is fixed but uh, before returning uh, the value we need to add actual functionality to add uh, new category in our database so first of all we need to create sql connection creating to create not creating connecting connecting to database so sql sql connection is goes to new sql connection 
and using my connection string i think i have made an error on our select method let's expand the select method and here i haven't uh, passed i think sql the sql concept. i haven't passed the connection string which is this just copy connection string and paste it here and i haven't opened the database connection too so open database connection connection dot open so this is it guys just use the pen so this is it let's minimize this select method now we have opened the connect sql connection we have connected we have created sql connection for our insert method uh, let's start our try block try then catch exception ex and message box dot so ex dot message so this will uh, display uh, a message when we have exception errors so finally and finally we will close the database connection 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 dot close so this is it now let's the query and code to add a new category in our database query to add new category so it will be a string sql is equals to insert into tbl underscore categories categories and then parenthesis and let's check our table in our database expand tables tbl categories id title we do not need to insert id since it is auto generated so we will add a field for title description added and added by so title description added date and added by and then values and i'll copy all these all of these again copy control c and paste after values and before each one we'll add add the rate add the rate and add the rate at the rate and we will pass the values here from sql command and parameters so let's create sql command to pass values here command to pass values in our query so sql command cmd is goes to new sql command using sql and connection so passing values through parameters it will be cmd dot parameters dot add with value then at the rate title it will be C dot title and another will be cmd dot parameters dot add with value at the rate description c dot description and then cmd dot parameters dot add with value at the rate add it date and then c dot add date date and last one is cmd dot parameters dot add with value add date underscore by and c dot 
at date underscore by so this is it now we have to open the database connection 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 dot open and now we will create integer type variable to execute the query so cmd dot execute non query so this will execute the query and add the values in our rows integer type variable so if the data is successfully inserted then the value of rows will be greater than, than zero else the value will be uh, less than zero this is creating the int variable to execute query and now if the query is executed if you LLS successfully then its value value will be greater than zero else it will be less than zero so let's check if the query is uh, executed successfully or not if rows is greater than zero then query executed successfully and the value of is success will be true else failed to execute query and the value of is success will be false so this is it guys we have successfully uh, added a method to insert a new category in our database sorry guys i forgot to add uh, zero in our insert method so we will add zero here so zero now we will create a next uh, next method to update the existing category in our database so just save it control and s to save and i will minimize this method and create new region for method query so has region update method and in the region let's create it will also be of bool type so public bool update and pass the class here so categories blc and boolean variable and set its default value to false so bool is success is equals to false and we'll return it return is success so we solve the problem now between this we need to uh, write a query to update uh, the category so first creating sql connection so sql connection con is equals to new sql connection my connection is string and then try and catch exception ex and message box dot so ex dot message to display uh, exceptional errors and finally closing the connection so connection dot close now let's add the query to update the category update 
category so it will be a string sql is equals to update tbl underscore categories and set title is equals to add the rate title description is equals to add the rate description and added date is equals to add the rate added date added by is equals to add the rate added underscore by where where id is equals to add the rate id so this is the query to update our category now let's create a sql command to pass the value in our sql query value on sql query so sql sql command cmd is equals to new sql command using sql and con and then passing value using cmd so cmd dot parameters dot add with value and this will be title c dot title and cmd dot parameter dot add with value description c dot description and cmd dot parameters dot add with value and add date date we forgot to add add the rate here add the rate add the rate and add the rate add the date and then c dot add the date and cmd dot parameter dot add with value add the rate add date underscore by and c dot add date underscore by and the last one is cmd dot parameter dot add with value add the rate id c dot id since this is an update query we will also need to pass the id to very uh, to verify and declare uh, which uh, row which we want to update uh, we we do not need to pass the id on insert update insert method so we haven't passed the id on insert method and i have i forgot to add add the rate here so just add the add the rate in c dot added by and this is it now we need to open the database connection database connection for that connection dot open there we need to create int variable to execute query so int rows is equals to cmd dot execute non query so if the uh, rows has if the query is successfully executed then the value will be greater than zero zero so let's check if the if the query executed successfully or not so if rows is greater than zero then then executed 
successfully and the value of a success will be true else else fail to execute query and the value of a success will be false so this is guys we have successfully created a method to update uh, existing query now we will create another method to delete the existing query for this uh, let's create a reason and a method so has reason category method so has end reason now it will also be a boolean type method so public bool delete and pass categories blc so it will require a boolean variable to be returned so and set its value to false so bool is success is equals to false and let's return it return is success now let's add the uh, sql connection first so sql connection con is equals to new sql connection and my connection is string now we'll write the code to delete the categories from database so let's start with try block try catch exception ax and displaying message message box dot so ax dot message so this will display the message if we have any exceptional errors and finally closing the database connection so connection dot CLOSC CLOSC close so this is it now let's write the query first to delete the category from database query to delete from database so str string sql is equals to delete from tbl underscore categories where id is equals to at the rate id so this is the query to uh, delete the category from tbl categories table now pass the Mm, value of id using sql command so sql command cmd is equals to new sql command using sql and cmd sql and connection database connection so passing the value using cmd so cmd dot parameters dot add with value at the rate id c dot id so this is it this will pass the value to our sql query now we need to open the sql connection for this connection dot open now we need to create an integer variable to execute the query rows is equals to cmd dot execute non query so if the query is executed successfully then the value of rows will get than zero if the query is executed successfully then the value of rows will be greater than zero else it will be less than zero 
0 so let's check it if rows is greater than 0 then query executed successfully else fail to query so when when the query is executed successfully the value of each success will be true else the value of each success will be each success will be false so this is it guys we have successfully created a method to delete our categories from our database too let's save it control and s so this is it guys we have successfully created a data access layer for our category module and created a select method to display all the uh, categories in our data grid view created insert method to create or add new uh, category in our database uh, created update method to update existing uh, category and delete method to delete the existing category uh, so thank you so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like and share on social networking sites and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible if you want to see more videos like this then don't forget to subscribe and click on bell icon so that you will get notified uh, when i upload new videos uh, in the next video we will add actual functionality to add update and delete in our category module uh, so till then see you soon bye bye